Humans are social beings. It should come as no surprise that we value acceptance and belonging to a particular community. Being a member of a group is beneficial to an individual's psychological well-being. However, group behavior also has a dark side. Many social psychologists have researched group behavior and social influence throughout the years. Solomon Ash's conformity studies demonstrate this negative side. In psychological terms, conformity refers to an individual's predisposition to obey the unwritten rules of the social group to which he or she belongs. Solomon Ash began researching the influence of propaganda during the early years of World War II, when Hitler was at the height of his popularity. Ash became famous in the 1950s through a series of studies demonstrating the influence of social pressure on compliance. Participants were unexpectedly willing to adhere to a group, even when they individually considered the group to be misguided. This experiment tried to answer the question, how much do social surroundings alter people's opinions? People behave according to how they perceive the world, not as it truly is, according to Ash. The Ash conformity experiment will help you understand why many educated individuals fall for falsehoods and why so many refuse to stand up and speak out against powerful conventional notions. A perception test was administered to groups of university students in the trials. All except one of the players were collaborators with the experimenter and only pretended to be participants. The research looked at how the actual student would adapt to the conduct of other students. The participants were seated in a classroom and given a card with a simple vertical black line painted on it. They were then handed a second card that had three lines of varying lengths labeled A, B and C. The second card had one line that was the same length as the first, and the other two lines were clearly longer and shorter. Participants were asked to say aloud in front of their peers which line, A, B or C, matched the length of the first card's line. The collaborators replied first in each trial, while the actual participant was placed such that he would answer last. The Confederates gave right answers in some situations and wrong answers in others. The purpose of Ash's experiment was to test if the actual participant would be forced to answer erroneously when the collaborators did, or if their reliance on their own perception would surpass the social pressure given by the other group members' replies. In the conformity experiments, about 75% of the individuals went along with the rest of the group. It was observed that almost one-third of the time, participants followed the group that gave the wrong answer. Why did the participants effortlessly conform? When they were interviewed after the experiment, the majority of them said that they did not truly believe their conforming responses, but that they had gone along with the group out of fear of being criticized. A number of them stated that they truly believed the solutions given by the group were right. People appear to conform for two primary reasons, to fit in with the group and because of the assumption that the group is more knowledgeable than they are. Major events such as Hitler and Nazi dominance, Hindu-Muslim riots and anti-Sikh riots in India, and the Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba are all classic illustrations of how groupthink may lead to imprudent and erroneous decision-making. The terrifying Salem witch trials was also one such event. When a group is very unified, isolated, has insufficient decision-making procedures, and has a dominant leader, groupthink is more likely to emerge. Almost all of these elements were present in Salem Village during the winter of 1692, just before and after the witch trials. The residents of Salem frequently followed what the town's majority believed. The concept of witches was seen as a violation of Catholicism, which was considered the most fundamental of all things. Because it was such a close-knit community, news quickly spread about those who didn't fit in with the majority, singling them out. When someone was suspected of being a witch, the majority of society ostracized them solely due to their perception of what a witch is. The Salem witch trials arose as a result of conformity, similar to Ash's experiment in which the majority of respondents picked the incorrect response merely because others did. Even when inhabitants of Salem were aware that those accused were not witches, the risk of speaking the truth outweighed joining the majority. Conformity provides a certain level of comfort, which can often be destructive. People are often compelled to adopt negative views because of their need to be accepted and their fear of punishment if they deviate from group norms. The phenomenon where one idea becomes socially dominant because individuals with opposing views are reluctant to speak up 
is known as the spiral of silence. According to the theory, people's propensity to express their opinions on significant public issues is largely dependent on how popular or unpopular they perceive those opinions to be. It is entirely up to you to decide whether you want to remain comfortable within the confines of conformity or embrace the discomfort of voicing your opinion even when it is beyond the society's norms.